कि एनसीआरटी का क्या रोल है इस पूरी चीज में राइट इन दिस एंटायर प्रिपरेशन मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फील दैट एनसीआरटी जस्ट फॉर बोर्ड्स राइट और जेई मेंस और एडवांस की प्रिपरेशन अलग होती है राइट बट लाइक व्हाट यू सेड इट डजंट सीम सो तो आप दोनों से पूछना चाहूंगा अनानंद यूट्यूब दैट व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ एनसीआरटी हाउ शुड स्टूडेंट अप्रोच एनसीआरटी कब करना चाहिए कितना करना चाहिए सो आई थिंक यू सिंस यू आंसर्ड यू नो आई थिंक आई विल स्टार्ट विद यू ओनली कैन यू एलोबरेट ऑन दिस मोर सो केमिस्ट्री एनसीआरटी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू कैन मींस रीड इट साइड बाय साइड मींस एज द चैप्टर स्टार्ट और यू कैन रीड इट एट द एंड बट ट्राई टू रीड इट साइड बाय साइड फॉर केमिस्ट्री एंड रीजन इज यू नो सो दैट यू डोंट मिस आउट ऑन एनी टॉपिक मे बी हो सकता है पढ़ाया ना वो टॉपिक किसी टीचर ने then you can at least have a clo- closure on that chapter ki aap kuch miss nahi ho aapka exam point of view se like board point of view se bhi advanced point of view se bhi and inorganic chemistry ke liye baat karoge to i think ncert is the god thing finally ncert mein sare expand karte hain ncert is a very good level book for organic same thing for physics ncert mein aisi aisi cheeze hain jo shayad coaching mein bhi nahi padhate and it's very good book like uska jo back problems hai unka level bahut hi zyada acha hai to physics मतलब करनी चाहिए लाइक इफ यू डोंट इट साइड साइड बाय एट द एंड बिकॉज बैक प्रॉब्लम उसकी बहुत अच्छे हैं एंड एक्स्ट्रा कॉन्सेप्ट्स भी आते हैं लाइक स्पेशली चैप्टर्स लाइक मॉडर्न फिजिक्स इट्स इट्स अमेजिंग एंड देन मैथ्स के लिए इट्स अप टू यू लाइक सम एक्स्ट्रा टॉपिक्स के अलावा यू कैन स्किप एनसीआर इफ यू वॉन्ट बट लाइक टॉपिक्स लाइक स्टेटिस्टिक्स यू शुड कम्प्लीट दैट एनी पॉइंट ऑन दैट आई से दैट वन ऑफ ऑफन मिस कंसेप्शन दैट स्टूडेंट्स ऑफन हैव वुड बी दैट केमिस्ट्री एनसीआर इज easy or it's not a good book low level frankly speaking i loved chemistry in cert it's an amazingly designed book it, it covers everything in depth and the topics which in which we don't need to go into depth it just skims over it it's a perfectly designed book so and personally i loved reading the ncert and reading the ncert is a must there is no two opinions on that okay you have to read the ncert completely right. and uh, for all the subjects for chemistry for chemistry and for physics you like he said you can cover it at later stage okay. you can actually wait for physics and crt but chemistry and crt you have to cover side by side if you leave it for the end then there's a huge gap you have left in your preparation very very interesting anand any inputs uh, or any pointers on top of what these guys have said ki ncrt ko bachcho ko kaise approach karna chahiye right and uh, more importantly should it be the start point or or should it be the end point or should it be the revision point yeah so uh, i think most of the points they have added uh, they have already commented on subject wise maths definitely you can skip ncert because if you are preparing for competition the level itself uh, goes beyond ncert at a very early stage and therefore there are very less things that you will gain out of ncert in maths specifically uh, barring the topics like uh, statistics as uh, sarvesh told uh, but in chemistry definitely it is the starting point mm. because it's as pranav was mentioning it's a beautifully written book and you can't uh, miss out anything you have to cover each and every point there so lot of things have been written you know in between the lines you have to read in between the lines and maybe you have to read it twice thrice or four times to exactly extract the all the items out of it so many a times i also tell students that even the diagram which is mentioned there you should actually write it down separately see what is given in the diagram what is the context of that for example p2o5 so the, how many p and o linkages are there and if diagram is there it is important from a competition perspective so you should note each and everything out of chemistry and prepare a separate note copy for ncert chemistry physics i felt that lot of students they feel difficult when they start with physics and therefore uh, hc arma is a very good starting point in physics but towards the end when you have prepared for the entire 11th and 12th and when you are revising then you can pick up the ncert of physics and you should not leave it because as sarvesh was mentioning there are a lot of points in ncert which is not covered anywhere i have seen lot of teachers skipping the points mm-hmm. right so lot of points in fluid dynamics and in boxes in blue boxes few things are written right and they are so very important that uh, in general we skip it but uh, yeah. exams they ask questions yeah. from there very interesting so i think guys all of you watching uh, the common theme here is ncert is extremely critical and important especially for the subjects of chemistry and to an extent physics as well right so that's 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 lovely